Welcome, my name is Armin, and today's story relates to one of the best red dogs in the world. His name is Clifford, written by the one and only Norman Bridwell, a man with much creative energy, inspiring me to want to create something with what he made. My question is, <clears throat> do you have pets? Have you ever had pets? Look at all these dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dogs. We got a big one and we got a couple little ones. I never had dogs, I mostly had cats. Let's explore and see a little bit more what's in store for Clifford's family. <clears throat> you see it right there, right? Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. We live in a small, small, small town. Yes, we do, but no frowns. But we were there both born in the city. Clifford's got his home in the back where it's gritty. But he's still happy in the front cause he hangs right with me. And that's what we do. A lot of traffic up in our city. A little bit like mine near to New York City. One day we went back to visit our old home back in the city. You see before they were in the city, now they living in the suburbs. A little similar to my word. Clifford hadn't seen his mother since he was a tiny pup. She hardly knew him or could remember him. What a shame he was crying within, but didn't know who to go to. He was looking ever everywhere saying, Mama, 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 where are you? Mm. Check it out. She still treated him like a puppy. She checked his teeth and they were a little gutty because he was eating things that were nutty. And that's what a Clifford dog loves to do. And she looked at his ears to see if he had been washing them. And it seemed it was a little dirty. Do you wash your ears with Q-tips? Do not stick them inside too deep cause you may go deaf. Just be careful. The man told us where Clifford's brother was and sisters live. We went to find them. Don't remind them. It's like a surprise. Clifford's sister Claudia lived nearby. Her eyes were there helping a blind woman walk down the street. She was taking her owner for a walk. Kind of funny cause usually we think that the humans take the dogs for walks But if you're blind then the dog will take you every single time And that's why you can allow, you're allowed to have a dog Even in a place that they say no dogs, if you're blind it's okay Cause they're a helping dog Notice by the street the taxi man waits He's reading his new paper, he's happy then Anyone, and we went to the park with them A taxi was blocking the crosswalk and Clifford took care of them Hopefully didn't attack them, but a little bit people you could see were a little bit scary, I think. Clifford picked up the taxi, but luckily didn't break him because he would have been unhappy. Next, we found his brother Nero. Nero was near as, like a rescue dog at a fire station, helping out humans when fires would come up in their houses. Nero was living that life of service. Why we were there, the alarm rang. We followed the fire truck and Nero rushed into the building. Oh no, what's happening? I hope it's not a fire. I hope they won't explode it like an explosion of a tire. By the deli bodega, at the corner of the street, there was a big fire on the third floor. Oh my. But Clifford helped them because he's my dog and my friend and my guy. Pasando el tiempo en frente del bodega Hay un fuego allá, pero no hay problemas Porque Clifford llegó para salvar Toda la gente que están allá, sin duda Nero was very brave, you could see Cause Nero as well went inside, he was free And ready to be a dog of service Living his life to the highest purpose Then we set off to the country Clifford's other sister, Bonnie, was a farm dog Chilling over there, running after the lambs everywhere. One of Bonnie's jobs was to herd the sheep into her pen. Into their pen, if not that they wouldn't listen. Cause they could go out and graze the grass. But when it's time to sit on their 
got giants behind. Then they go back into their little area. Yeah. You see, cuz <clears throat> Clifford wanted to do some farm work too. He started to drive the cows toward the barn and the cow got really angry and was ready to do some harm. Oh, one of the cows was a bull and the bulls don't like the color red. So, oh no, they went like a toro and wanted to go, go and attack them like in the Spain runs for the toro. Clifford wasn't scared. He was real smart and prepared. You could see, because he did, didn't want to hurt the bull, so he just jumped out to the way. When Clifford jumps, he really jumps far away. You could see, and when we had more place to visit, it was Clifford's way to be exquisite. His father's home was in a town nearby. The family doesn't live all in the same place, but luckily they still can talk and share face and share stories and find each other. Let's see what the size of his dad was. The house was small and the yard that was there was with a bunch of kids playing there. Look at them, so happy in their games and their layers. Clifford's father didn't have a collar. Oh, or a dog dish, or a dog house. But he seemed very happy regardless, cause his house was still chill. Look at all the children as they run on top of the rooftops. And they were so happy. And Clifford was a bit thirsty, so his tongue came out. I guess it was the kids. He sure loved the kids. He was a lot like Clifford, like a little smaller version of him. Mm. How cool is Clifford? Clifford wished his family could come and live with us and be happy. But they all had people who needed them, just as I need the Clifford. The best dog of all is him, her. So you see, this is a story. Maybe our family isn't close, but we can still try to send them positive energy the best way that we can know how. And the life of service is a life of purpose. So live it life the way that Clifford has taught us. I'm telling you, that's what he's selling you. These ideas, let go of those fears and all those complaints of what those family problems may bring to you. It's time that you sing something that's positive and true and live a life like Clifford even devise you could use your eyes to create the new word you want to live the new world you want to have it's in your eyes what's the lesson for me we can still send good energy and find people and if they're not there right some of the people in our lives like Clifford's family they're not all living together he still tries to find them and he found most of them so he's happy and that's the lesson is to take care of the people who are around us right and I want to ask you, who do you take care of, right? And also, who takes care of you? And I want to know, can you take care of people even if you're really far away from them? Because that's what Clifford is teaching us. Enjoy.